Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are just finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women to create the relationship that they always wanted and dreamed about. So yes, I am a coach. I definitely help those people out there that need it. So if you need any help out there with your relationship, definitely go ahead, drop me an email from the um, link down in the description box below and we can hook up and chat about your relationship and how to actually fix it. So today we're going to be talking about jumping from one relationship to the next. Now I have to say that this is the second video of me doing this. I did one in 2017. Of course I will link that video um, down in the description box below and of course sometime up here. But today we're going to be talking about why. The why right why you should not be jumping from one relationship to the next right after this all right welcome back so the very first reason why you should not be jumping from one relationship to the next is because your brain is hardwired to see their current relationship in a similar manner that you've seen the previous relationship or the relationship that you broke up from. And it will be hard for you to trust again because, again, you start to see the similarities of that relationship or of that person and you start to think about what actually happened or went wrong with your ex and you start to hone in on those things and that's what you really start to pay attention to. The second reason why it is harmful to jump from one relationship to the next is that it can leave you in a um, codependent state or a state where you have like depress depressive tendencies and you're just very anxious about everything that's happening within the relationship, within the current relationship. And again, it's because you're starting to see those similarities from your last relationship into this relationship. So either you're trying to hold on really tight to them, becoming very codependent, or you're anxious about every time they're leaving, or, they're, or you guys get into a fight, or there's just something not right in your relationship, or you just be like, you know what, you start to go through this depressive state. So don't want to jump from one relationship to the next which actually brings me into point number three which is you are you are not giving yourself time to rest and reset yourself so you will be able to see the new person as the person that they are versus trying to compare them to your ex and you will not fall into those similar patterns that you did before which is why your relationship led to a breakup in the first place the fourth reason why you do not want to jump from a relationship to relationship is because you actually get addicted to those feel-good feelings, those neurochemicals that are actually being released in your brain and um, that, that, that comes with you finding and attracting and, you know, um, getting with someone new. What we call the honeymoon stage or the honeymoon phase. You start to get really attracted to that and you, you need that dose. You need that dose. The fifth reason why you do not want to jump from relationship to relationship is because you do not have time for self-development. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you need. You don't know what you actually like. And you actually start to keep worrying about, or I should say, you, you find time not to worry about what the other person wants because you've given yourself time to actually discover or develop what you like and what you do not like. So jump from relationship to relationship, you don't get a chance to do that. And that brings up that anxiety or then you're trying to be somebody else and you feel like, oh my God, is this person really into me? How do I act? Do I act like I act like sports or not? Do I act like I actually like what the person is wearing Because because I don't want to start an argument or anything? It's a whole bunch of stuff that goes on up here because you have not taken the time out for yourself when you jump from relationship to relationship. The sixth reason is due to loneliness. Most people look at loneliness as a bad thing, as a curse, like I'm lonely, you know, or I need to be in a relationship so I don't feel lonely. And that's not the case. You want to take the time for yourself again to 
develop yourself, develop what you want. But also don't look at loneliness as a curse. Look at it as a blessing because you get to do the things that you want to do. You don't have to check in or, um, you know, think about what somebody else feelings or what they want to do. You can think about what you just want to do. So take the time to really like what you like, learn to like what you like, learn to love what you like, and put yourself out there in the sense of just discovering the world. Do the things that you want to do, whether it's travel, or maybe you want to be in the band, or maybe you just want to go out and just hang out with your friends. You know, whatever it is. Maybe you are trying to work on a career move. Now is the time to do all of these things before you have, before you get a family behind you and people who are actually dependent on you to be their support system usually financially and of course emotionally too but usually financially is where we start to get like not being able to do the things that we really want to do because we have to put ourselves in the background in order to take care of our responsibilities so fam these are the six reasons why you should not be jumping from relationship to relationship again check out my video for 2017 um that video has definitely been getting a lot more traction to it so definitely go ahead and check out that video and of course down in the comment section below let me know what you thought about this video is there something else that i could have put there what will you do different are you a person that jumps from relationship to relationship how will you stop doing that what is your next move i'll see you again in the next video two finger salute